Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about the last part of The Single Life with Chantel and the man that she met in Greece, which I think his name is Giannis. Giannis? Giannis or Giannis? I don't know how you say his name, but that's his name. We are going to talk about just the last part of The Single Life and how it went in Greece for Chantel and if she found love or not. You know, she did just get divorced, you know, fairly fresh, but that's not our problem. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life, do a little bit of makeup, and yeah, let's do this. These are cute. <laughs> Meow. Man, it's been a while since we've talked about the single life, right? Yeah, it's been a while because we talked about Angela and Michael and their situation, and then we talked about Brandon and Mary. So the last part, I believe, where we left off, I think it was like episode what, seven or eight, and uh, they leave it off with Chantel and Giannis is, I guess, getting to know each other, and they are hitting it off pretty well. So they went to the beach, I think, or something like that, because um, I don't remember, and I didn't want to go back and watch the episode because it's honestly this season I thought it was gonna be good but it wasn't that great and it was really mind-numbing I don't know for you guys but for me it was mind-numbing there was times where I just was like oh god can't this just be over with you know I just feel like they didn't have too much to add in into each episode what's the word it didn't feel like a great example the relationship between Giannis and Chantel it felt fake it felt character like you have to pretend on camera that you're into this guy you you met someone new because you're young and you're on the single life and you have to pretend that you're being the single person and doing single things so here's this guy pretend that you like him and go with it the other thing I felt so corny and cheesy is when Giannis and her were kissing inside the you know the beach they're in the water they're being romantic and they start kissing and then her friends come out of nowhere and are like oh my god oh my god oh look at them oh my gosh like Jesus Christ like come on you guys are giving way too much I'm so over the fakeness just be honest in your story I just feel like Chantel gave way too much Desperateness. Desperateness? Is that a word? In the next episode, he invites Chantel and her friends to a festival. It is a escargot festival, and I guess what escargot are snails? I'm sorry. This part, I had to agree with... Oh, this is... I used... I got this new elf one. This new elf one. I am so obsessed with liquid blush now. So I got like two other colors, but I got a lighter color for the summer and I wanted to try it out today. I wanted to do like a little peach look on my face today because I feel like I'm peachy. I like this one. It's very light and subtle and you can put it on your eyes and it doesn't look too vibrant, you know. God, I have my windows open because it's so beautiful out today. It's actually 80 degrees and all the stupid cars, loud cars have to be out today including my loud barking dog. So excuse if you hear all that loudness. I'm so sorry. Eventually, there will be a new scenery. There will be all new area for me to host my videos. I am in the works of fixing and renovating my house. So it won't be long till I will have something new in the background and it won't be loud. You won't hear a dog. You won't hear cars it will be a lot better and i cannot wait so it'll be in a couple months bear with me and that's another reason why i'm not really shooting videos out that fast not like anyone really cares so it's been fun oh one scene that she didn't mention and it was kind of made my antennas go up was when she said she needs to know whether or not if this is going to be something serious or if this is just a you know fling girl you just got out of a freaking marriage. Like, you just said it's been six months. 
why are you looking for anything serious? That man should just be the part of your single freedom life and you move on to reality and you never see this man ever again. Why is it that you're looking to see, well, now I need to know if this is going to be something because I'm starting to have feelings for him. Really? I feel like, is this real or is this fake? I, I don't know. I guess I've never caught feelings for someone so quickly. I mean, you've been in Greece for what, just a week, maybe two, call it two weeks. Call it two weeks, and you're gonna sit there and tell me that you have feelings for this man? What is going on? TLC, what are you making these people do for their money? <laughs> Jesus, are you forcing these people to like have fake relationships in order to keep their story going? What is going on? You know what? I think I missed a episode where How much clicking do I gotta do for it product to come out? Well, what do you know? So there was this one episode <laughs> where the friends made Chantel go out to go see dude looking like like this. I think. What I about the Spartans? No, I know I'm not one to talk about makeup because. Who the hell am I to talk about looking good on, on TV? But damn. And I know I look like a clown right now. Okay. But your friends did you bogus. Your makeup artist did you wrong. That's all I gotta say about that. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on them. Okay, so let's get back to the event. So Giannis introduces his friends to Chantel and Chantel's friends. So they're... You know, getting acquainted. Once they get to their seats, Chantel right away looks very needy and desperate. Needs, I guess, you know, some type of uh, reassurance. You know, she just needs attention. And so when she finds out what they're eating, you know, what the event was, she got grossed out. She said, oh, wait, hold on. We're eating snails? He said, yeah, it's a snail event. She's like, oh, I, I, I can't eat that. And I don't blame her. See... I don't blame Chantel. I, for the life of me, would not be able to eat snails or oysters, anything that's slimy. I'm assuming it's salty. I don't want slime in my mouth. I don't want boogers in my mouth. I just don't want that in my mouth, period. I like this concealer. Oh, this is nice. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Well, you definitely rewind my age a little bit. Thank you, Maybelline, for making me feel 10 years younger. Sad that I got to say that. So she gives it a try. I'm sure, you know, it's, it won't be that hard for Chantel to swallow it. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So she says she eats oysters but not snails. Isn't it the same thing, though? I mean, like, I know they're not the same thing, but I mean, like, isn't it? I, I see. That's where I, I don't know. I never eaten oysters or snails before. Why would I? If I don't like the taste or if I don't like snot, why would I eat something that tastes like snot? So anyways, she tries it and she literally almost gagged. And you hear the front in the background, just swallow it, swallow it. I'm sure you say that a lot to her. <laughs> she could not swallow it. She spit it out, which... Again, I don't blame her because I would have probably done the same thing. And I guess Yana's looked I, a little offended when she did that. But I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like people should understand some people are not going to like. And that's okay. She tried it. I give her credit for that because if that was me, I would have said no and bye bye If I have to try a freaking snail in order to be in a relationship with you, then goodbye. Anyway, she, she spit it out. She said, ill, not for me, yuck, eh. So I guess she's talking to her friend that's sitting right next to her. And she told her, yeah, I asked for a kiss and I got a weak kiss. It's like giving very neediness. Chantel looks annoyed because of it. And she's feeling neglected. I think you're just needy. I mean, you're just doing too much. It's just giving way too much and you're showing that you're desperate. 
and no guy likes a desperate girl so i mean you showing that it pushes the guy off a little bit you know makes them feel uncomfortable and also like they don't find that attractive so chantel was jealous because he wasn't giving her the attention that she was looking for and he was chit-chatting with his friends and not with her she felt like that was a little bit you know disrespectful she felt like what's the point of me being here if you're not gonna give me any attention it could be the way the editors edit everything but yeah it looks like Giannis is kind of like giving her a little bit of a cold shoulder or you know maybe he doesn't know what to really say I think it's just the way they made the edit look oh let's record him talking to his friends that's a good angle guys let's make it look like he's ignoring her I don't know all this good shit right so then she kind of interrupts him and says so um when you think about our chemistry what do you think about us and then she asks him are you shy and he said no I'm not shy he said I just like to take my time understandable who does it right you just met the girl are you like really looking to trying to marry her no right okay well guess what she's looking for that this shit's so fun remember i told you she was talking to her like her friend right next to her they're like having a conversation but it's i mean it i mean dude is probably sitting like what two feet away from you you know and you're talking to your friend right here and when you're talking to your friend and you're talking like this and saying yeah i don't think he likes me and her saying well you guys gotta figure it out this is like your last day what, what are you gonna do you need to know your answer now like when you guys are talking like that you know he can hear you right this is where i feel like you know <laughs> the acting comes in and it's just giving acting it's just giving fakeness it's not real none of this is real chantelle is just on tv because she has no show okay she still needs to make sure she stays relevant she's in the scenes and she's making money because she come on she needs it so she feels confused because she feels like the affection that he was giving her in the beginning he's no longer giving it to her now and she doesn't quite understand what's going on she feels like well maybe he doesn't want me because i'm divorced or because i'm an american or maybe it's just something that she's done that changed his mind i just think that you are moving really fast and again he explained to you that he is a person that doesn't move quickly like that so you know i feel like you're not really kind of respecting what he's saying and it's kind of like you're going over what he's saying and saying yeah but how do you feel about us though <laughs> you know what i mean when Giannis and chatel said their goodbyes at the festival he gave her a kiss on the cheek instead of the lips because you know they went full on and made out previously right so she felt a certain way after that night and she told her friends of course he only kissed me on the cheek he didn't kiss me on the lips this time she says it's scary to catch feelings for someone after a divorce yeah bitch it's called a rebound you'll get over it Trust me, he's a rebound. That's that's what he is. He's a rebound and you're you're gonna hurt this man. Okay, leave him alone. That was your rebound. You should have went a little bit further and enjoyed your rebound and grease and then just leave it as that. Do you know what people are after you get out of a relationship? Do you know what they're called when you are coming out of a relationship and you're going right into another relationship? Do you know what they are called? Those are rebounds. And they don't last. So he was your rebound. And I'm assuming he's not going to last. I guarantee it. So she's talking to her friends. He's like, yeah, we're, we're planning on meeting up again. And one of her girls was like, I guess another glam day. What do you mean like this? I think. What I about the Spartans? Let's make sure we don't do Chantel Bogus again, okay? Let's, let's make sure we make her look pretty and presentable the next time she sees Giannis. Giannis. Is it Giannis or Giannis? Giannis. Well, it's a G in his name, so I guess it's Jaundice. He has jaundice. It's the next day, and Chantel and her squad are getting her ready to see Giannis. And they're getting her ready. They're making sure she looks pretty. They put a diamond necklace on her. They zipped up a beautiful snatch dress. They made sure her hair is all curly and her makeup is on fleek better than mine. Let's just pause it right there. 
Okay. So it looks like Dude is her makeup artist. Oh, girl over there is her hairstylist. Does he see her with the curling iron? And the girl holding the shoe is her stylist. Okay. So she brought her glam squad with her, not her friends. She brought a glam squad. So, Chantel, you can afford a freaking glam squad? Really? You can afford a glam squad? So, I knew these people weren't your friends. Like, why didn't you bring your real friends? Like, why didn't you bring any of your real friends with you? You brought your glam squad with you. I knew it. I told you. I knew it. These are people that are just there to make her look pretty and get paid for it. Again, I don't know. I'm just speculating. So, again, guys, let's not forget how she'll tell looks how they made her look so beautiful right oh my goodness I mean Chateau looks so gorgeous oh my goodness her hair looks good she's so nervous she she doesn't know what to expect guys she is in the car she looks like she's about to throw up or fart one of them too because she just has this you know serious look on her face and you know sometimes when I look like that that's because I have to take a shit so maybe she has to take a shit, you know, never know. With those nerves and everything, sometimes the bubblies happen. Um, sometimes my IBS kicks in when I get nervous. But anyways, going back to Chantel. They finally arrive at the destination, and Giannis comes out and greets her, and he's wearing sneakers, soccer shorts, and a soccer shirt. They meet at a soccer stadium. Not a soccer stadium, I would just say a place for her people play soccer you know and Chantel looks very disappointed I mean come on look <laughs> look at her she looks amazing she's on point her makeup's on point her, her hair is finally on point her dress is on point she's she's wearing panties today probably probably not but she's covering up the hoo-ha this time and she's looking pretty right but I mean for what though soccer soccer field so she had to take off her Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuittons, if I'm saying it right. Ugh, I'm so stressed. I never realized how much stressful Chantel can make you. No wonder why Pedro was always looking stressed. I swear, it makes perfect sense. Like why, kind of like now that I'm looking back at their relationship, like why it kind of didn't work out. She was very needy and she constantly probably wanted a lot a lot a lot the extravagant vacations that she goes to and, and he even said it himself when they were married all she wants to do is go on vacation 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 that's all she wants to do she wants to go on vacation she wants to live this type of life that is expensive she wants to pretend like she's i guess a kardashian maybe you know what sometimes wanting to be like a kardashian or even if you have money like the kardashians it's not always thrilling and exciting as you think it is because guess what more money more problems look at p diddy i might just shut up so at the car and he said so i wanted to show you where i i train and she's like oh uh, oh okay and he's like so this is where i come to train for football he shows her around and says these are benches where players sit it kind of reminds me of like my five-year-old showing me where he plays soccer when he was little you know showing me everything it was kind of giving that to me when i was watching that scene but this part it was meaningful and it meant something he was showing her what he's passionate about what he loves to do and that's soccer he loves soccer believe it or not in, in different countries soccer is a very popular sport and it's a thing that most people live and breathe on and for this guy soccer this is something that he really loves so i thought you know that was sweet for him to show her a glimpse of what he likes. I guess opening up to her, giving her that reassurance, like my way of showing you, like, I like you. I mean, if I didn't like you, I wouldn't show you what I enjoy or what I do. Why would I if I didn't care about you, right? It was a meaningful part. So he kind of like trying to make a metaphor between soccer and like a relationship. He says, you know, with soccer, you have, you have a team and a team backs you up. The same thing with a relationship. In a relationship you're a team and when you are in a relationship you have to back each other up and that's what he's looking for he feels like Chantel is giving that but again he wants to make sure that he's jumping into the right relationship and making the right choice and I don't blame him because it's Chantel and by the way he doesn't have braces in my last episode I said that Chantel met a guy with braces 
I thought in the last episode I seen him wearing braces. I literally thought they were clear braces. I was so wrong. After he told her all that, they start kissing and the smacking. Oh my god. TLC, you could not cut that part out. You couldn't put like the music background like you were and just cut out them. Like you couldn't cut that part out. Who wants the ugh? So after they kiss, he shows her how he kicks the ball and makes a goal. And then she tries to kick the ball and she tried. And then they kiss again. And then he tells her, I really like you. That was it. That was their date. Guys, that was that was their date. Ugh. You know Chantel though was so disappointed in that fucking date. She was like so I wore this fucking dress with my red bottoms on and I fixed my hair. You take me to a football stadium to show me where you practice? You know she was upset. She was waiting for that romantic, romantic, romantic dinner or something romantic on the ocean. Cause you know it's in Greece and shit. So she probably was thinking that he was gonna do something so romantic for her. You know her ass was disappointed when she got out of that van and she's like, oh, so we're in a football stadium? <laughs> and TLC probably told her, wear the best outfit that you have and look so pretty. We're not going to tell you where you're going. <laughs> Could you imagine the the ride back home or her being going back to the hotel room and her glam squad telling her, how did it go? He took me to a football stadium. And he showed me where he practiced. And he showed me where players sit. They sit on this bench. That's where he took me. And my heels almost got ruined. <laughs> I was really looking forward to a steak. And I'm so hungry right now. So Chantel tells him she's leaving tomorrow. And she's curious to know what this is and what's going to happen after this. And he tells her, well, I see this more as a friendship. He sees it like a relationship. They're dating. And she asked him, well, do you see yourself visiting me in the United States? And he said, yeah. So I guess now he's going to visit her. You know, they're taking turns. Like I said, after he visits her, then he wants her to come back to Greece. And I guess that's his way of saying, like, I want you to move to Greece and live with me. And it seems like she's considering that. She didn't say no. But again, it's like, girl, think you're moving a little too fast. Think you should slow down just a little bit. Just a little bit too. And oh my god, they're kissing again. TLC, like, what are you doing to us? We don't want to hear that shit. So the next day, they were about to leave. And who shows up? But Giannis, and he surprises Chantel with some flowers and a kiss, again another kiss. He said he couldn't let her leave without saying goodbye. And he hopes that whatever it is does work out between them because he really likes her. And he's hoping that when he does come visit her that they can spend some more time together and get to know each other better. I don't know, dude. Oh, do you really want to meet her family? Her mom got her mom. But the way he showed up, it was giving so much script, scriptive. Like, like, how did he know that they were like about to leave right before they were about to leave to the airport? How did how did he get there right on time? Come on, you know that part was just like scripted. I'm gonna have you go meet her, and she's gonna pretend that you weren't even there, and it's gonna be a big surprise, and you guys are gonna kiss, and then she's gonna just drive off, and you're just gonna look at her while she's driving off, and then they're gonna look back and be like, oh my god, he's looking at us! <laughs> All of it's fake. I debunked the couple and the freaking trip and her friends. All of it's fake. No, in all honesty, this trip, it did not make Chantel look good. Ooh, she looked desperate. Here's why, okay? Say for instance, we put Pedro on the single life after their divorce and we have Pedro instead of Chantel and Pedro goes to Greece or Pedro goes to some other country with his friends and he does the same exact shit that Chantel was doing other than you know showing ding dong because who the hell that's you know kind of creepy but 
But you see what I'm talking about, though? And he was trying to find another girl, or he found someone, and then he wants to know where it's going to lead to. Ooh, man, you know it would have been a different story if it was the other way around. Could you imagine if Pedro did this, did the exact same crap? Like, can you imagine Pedro grabbing a freaking dime piece, a beautiful chick with no panties on, and wore the same dress as Chantal, and he just took her to his place for the night? As for a nightcap, could you imagine if that was Pedro? Mm. I can hear it now. I told you he was using me for a green card. He's now with another girl. Blasphemy. There would be tons of shit talk. Tons. Can you imagine hearing? Ooh, his ears would be burning because he would be knowing that Chantel's family is talking shit about him, knowing what he's doing, right? They would have. Oh my goodness. Chantel's mother would have had a heart attack. She would have said, I told you. I knew it. I knew it. I am done with my makeup, ladies and gentlemen. I will BRB. I'm going to put on my lip gloss and set my face and finish my hair. And we are going to come to the conclusion of The Single Life with Chantel. Yeah, it was it was hard to watch. But you know what's going to be even harder? And I should have been taking notes at the same time of the other two couples. And now i got to rewatch the whole thing all over again. Um... Veronica and who's the other? Natalie oh my god Veronica's not that bad but it's Natalie we gotta really get through it oh my god it's gonna be like pulling a band-aid so but we're gonna get through it guys we're gonna get through it together we will so BRB many hours later and I'm back and yes I love my new hair it's just it's just giving 90s you know i feel like sexy spice from the spice girls what's that her name sexy spice victoria beckham yeah i'm still feeling victoria beckham right now like but anyways so we leave it off with uh i was gonna say ashanti oh my god <laughs> what am i thinking <laughs> we leave it off with chantel you know I i'm kind of curious to know what's gonna happen with chantel seeing as you know she no longer has a show she was on The Single Life. I have not watched The Tell All, and I'm very curious to know what is happening. I guess I'm not that far off. They just finished the last fourth Tell All. I guess there was four Tell Alls. What the hell did they have to talk about? Like, really? For them to have four parts of a Tell All? That's insane. But I'm here for it. But anyways, we're going to leave it off there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for clicking on my channel, liking it watching the entire thing and if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and like this video I would really appreciate it and I also appreciate every single one of you that has joined so far and are enjoying my videos so I am going to leave it off there ladies and gentlemen and I want to just say thank you again and I will see you guys on the next one ciao